everyone. Welcome to my channel, The Life of Nina. I actually did a little shopping today, and I know a lot of you are going to be impressed with that because <laughs> I don't go very often. But I found some things that I've been wanting and needing for quite a while. I'll show you some of the wants first, okay? I don't know about you guys, but I have always loved the style and colors of anything to do with the Pioneer Woman, and I have never bought anything. Um, as you guys know, we lived on, a, we're still on a fixed income, but we, we lived on uh, my husband's disability for over four years. And um, so I didn't get, we didn't shop, we didn't get anything. So in my mind, I always thought to myself, if I ever get a little bit of money ahead, and if I find things that are on sale or, you know, marked down, I'm going to try my best to get them. Because as you can kind of see, um, the kitchen is done in browns and blue. Now this is actually, that's a little bit um, bluer than what you guys are seeing. But I'm trying to think of the color of the blue it is. I can't think of it. But, so I found me a thing that you put the cake cups in for coffee. Now, I don't drink but maybe a cup of coffee a day. So I've, I've always wanted to have a little coffee stand set up with a, a cake cup. Now, my husband drinks... Um, coffee he drinks like a pot of coffee a day and I just want I don't want one like in the morning sometimes in the evening I just want a, a cup of coffee or if I can get this open there we go so we're not gonna buy each other Christmas gifts and we usually don't maybe just something very very little but I thought how pretty that is to set a um, curry coffee maker up there. And then it's got the drawer and you can put all of the, the little cake cups in there. So I'm gonna be making me a little, oh, I didn't see this on the side. Look how pretty that is. Can you see that? Like the daisies, oh, I love that. So I'm gonna be making a little coffee place and I thought that would be very, very cute. And then away when people come over, I bought some, oh, uh, apple cider ones that you can put in and a latte, I believe. But anyway, I want to share some of this stuff with you guys. I know that you love when I'm able to go shopping because it, it was so many years. You know, nowadays you see all kinds of things on YouTube and the women will say, let's not, you know, it's a no shopping week or it's a no shopping month. I went, honestly, without buying anything other than necessities, like food, for four years. So, once in a while, I like to do a splurge for myself a little bit on things that make me feel, I don't know, happy and bring joy to my life. And to have my kitchen, you know, prettied up with some old, older fashion looking type of things brings me that joy. So they have these little, they're also by the Pioneer Woman, and they're the braided um, trivets, are they called? Yeah, trivet, to set your hot stuff on on the counter. So I got two of those. Those was marked down. I can't remember the prices. Um, this is just a, it's blue, and I got the blue to match the kitchen. And it's not uh, one of the super fancy ones. This one was, I thought it might stay up here on this label. I don't see it anywhere, but I think it was 50 something. And I thought that will be perfect sitting on top of this little wooden thing. So when I get it all um, fixed the way I want it, I will show you guys. And then, this is sort of for both Steve and I. We needed new pots and pans. Most of the pots and pans that we've been, we've been using forever are the ones that I've had um, from so long, I don't even remember how long. And then mom had left some of her old ones here. So things are sticking and uh, they're just not, 
they're just not any good anymore. So they had this set. I think it was 80 something. And it's heavy, so I'm trying not to hurt myself. Um, I'll move the pumpkin stuff over here. But it it's a 10 piece and it comes with the, um, I try to read it upside down. The Dutch oven with the lid, a saucepan with the lid, which is a two and a half quart, a one quart saucepan with the lid, a jumbo cooker, a four quart with a lid, and then a frying pan, which is a 9.5, and then it even came with a ceramic bakeware, which I thought was so pretty. So I hope you guys can see that. I'm gonna slide it down in the chair. And I think that was it. And got me a um, some feed stuff for the chickens. I wanted to let you know my my niece's son. He's three. Um, he came over with my sister Renee, and he actually petted one of the chickens. I I held her, and he stood up on the swing and petted her, and he wasn't afraid. I was so proud of him. And he really, really liked those chickens. He thought they was very pretty, which they are. They're very, very pretty. Um, so I'll go ahead and let you guys go. And I will bring you back when I get everything set up. Thank you. There it is. How do you like it? What I thought about doing is up here underneath where the jars are at, seeing if Steve can put me a couple um, hooks under there to hang our favorite coffee cups. And that one's our very favorite. <laughs> we had that taken a long time ago and they put it on a cup. I thought that was so cool. So we've got the Cincy Warmer thing. That was my mom's and I thought it went well in the kitchen. And then the new Couric and then I've got in here, I love anything like glass knobs. So we've got um, hot apple cider and Nantucket blend, the Green Mountain. Well, they're both Green Mountain types. So I thought that was neat. And then those are the little espresso cups that we had gotten at that flea market. And these, I don't have anything in them. They're mostly just for looks. Um, but I thought that maybe I could put maybe some little mints or something in here. Maybe some coffee, those little cookies that you can get in that one. And maybe get me a little bouquet of flowers or something to stick in that one. So what do you all think? kind of matches so with my blue jars up, up above there you guys that I got some happy mail this is from Burning Sands Exploration her name's Cindy and her and I did a, a an exchange a painting exchange and I'm not sure there we go And I went to the, Steve went to the post office today, and, and this was there, and I'm excited. I'm not sure which one she did for me. She does something um, called sand art. It's beautiful. I'm sorry, guys. It's, she likes, she likes tape. She lives in Nevada, by the way, in the desert. And she um, actually is from Ohio. I've never met her in person, but I really feel like uh, we would be good friends. Check out her channel, by the way. She has that, uh, the Burning Sands Exploration, and also she has one called Cindy Vlogs. So, okay, another box. getting kind of dark out well dusk but I wanted to be able to do this outside in case it has the sand and I didn't know if it would be um, if it would get on anything until I get it framed that was something we decided that um, 
I wish I had done all like this. Cindy, you did a really good job protecting it. But we decided to send each other a painting that we had done and not put it in a frame so that it would uh, be less weight to ship. And then we could just pick out our, if we had frames at home we could use, or pick out one that we wanted to go with. Um, this, oh, there it goes. The style of the house, so. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Oh man, girl, I feel like I gypped you. I am nowhere near the artist that you are. Oh, I even like the way she signed it in gold pen. That is, that is phenomenal. I want to put it up close so you guys can see. Isn't that gorgeous? It's, um, I've never done anything like this. I'm going to have to check into that. But it's actually sand. Colored sand in there. This is, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now to find the perfect spot. Thank you so, so much. I absolutely love it. Love it. Thank you guys for being with me today and watching my little haul that I did and opening up some some happy mail and um, I just appreciate you guys. I just really, really appreciate each and every one of you. And Cindy, thanks again. This is truly, truly beautiful. I love it. Thank you. Till next time. Bye-bye.